Our feet were originally designed to walk on soft, natural surfaces like earth and sand. But unfortunately, we now spend most of the day walking on hard, flat surfaces like pavements and floors. The normal lower limb is represented by a 4 degree tibial verum angle. The lower limb forms a natural inverted position to the ground and therefore when the foot strikes the ground, the outside edge of the heel hits the ground first. When the foot strikes a soft natural surface like sand, it will give way to accommodate the foot strike angle forming a natural footprint. However, when approaching hard flat ground, the foot must compensate by pronating excessively at the subtalar joint to gain ground contact. Excess pronation causes a chain reaction throughout the body. As the feet pronate, the tibia internally rotate and the pelvis is tilted forward. In turn, excess pronation can cause a range of aches, pains and injuries. Okay, as you can see here, this foot is standing on hard, flat, unnatural surfaces. This is concrete, it's very hard. And as you can see, what the concrete or the hard floor forces the foot to do is to roll inwards. Now this motion or angle here, which is going inwards and flattening the arch is called excess pronation. If this person was standing on soft, natural soils, grass or sand, the foot would actually be standing in this position. And as you can see, if we twist the foot to its natural position, you get the increase in the arch height, you get the alignment of the knee with the foot, and you have a better overall bone structure in the whole foot and leg structure. Now, if the foot relaxes now, you'll see how the foot rolls back in due to the hard, flat ground. And this is the common problem that causes these aches and pains in our foot, which are metatarsalgia, ball of foot pain. You can see the rolling inwards here puts a lot of pressure on the big toe, which causes bunions. You get clawing of these toes where you get the corns and calluses. And more importantly, the common cause of this flat-footed appearance occurs here because the foot moves from this position where there's a good arch, it rolls in under excess pronation, collapses the arch area, and you get this flat-footed appearance, which also puts strain on the heel, causing the heel pain, plantar fasciitis, also rotating right up the leg into the knee. The knee in this case is pointing this direction, the foot is going in this direction, if the foot was in neutral position or stance, the knee would follow the foot. Unfortunately, when the foot pronates excessively, we get this rotation of the knee which causes knee pain, and conversely, right up the whole body, we get this rotation which is the common cause of lower back pain.